Today we are making an Unhyven video again because I was a fool last time, but it's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say we had a good time, but it didn't. But I crocheted ice cream for the first time, so that's fun. Anywho, we're gonna recreate some things, but now I can't really recreate things because I've now had a case where a designer has reached out to me and told me that they don't want me like showing people how to make their thing, which I guess is fair. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess that would make sense. So now I'm scared and I don't want to like step on anyone's toes. I don't want to obviously steal things. So now I'm going to do like inspired things. Things like are that are like versions of things, but not really. So first of all, I'm going to make Jungwon's, I think I finally got his name right. I don't know what it is about his name, but like I only ever remember one and not the first part. Anyway, we're doing his checkered pink and black vest only. I don't know how I'm gonna make it different. I'm gonna make it cropped. I'm gonna make it, I don't know. We're gonna make it different. Okay, this is all the black that I have left. So it's gonna be very cropped. I have lots of this pink though, so that's something. So I'll probably just chain. I want it to be like pretty oversized. So I'll probably just like chain this amount, this amount. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. The only problem is I'm gonna have to freaking do math because I'm gonna have to have like the squares proper, you know? Blah. <laughs> So if we want it to be five squares across, which it is, I don't know why I'm trying to make it. I've just said that I'm not remaking it, but I don't know what to do. This is so hard. I'm gonna do five squares because that seems like it looks nice. I'm actually a big fan of checks. Checks are like my favorite. So a uh, multiple of five plus the two on the end for turning. But that, no, not plus. It would be plus one on the end because I'm gonna count the chains as a stitch. Okay, math. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. Okay, so I chained enough to have 15 stitches per square. So five times 15. I don't know how you do the math. No, that seems easy. Five times 15, 50 plus 25, 75. Is that right? That was so easy. This does seem really wide um, because it is, but maybe it won't be. I don't know. I just don't want to run out of black because like Whatever, we're gonna we're gonna run with it. See what happens. Whatever happens happens if I have to change colors That would be ugly. We'll see. Okay. I've only done like not even one and a half rows so far, but it already looks amazing I'm so excited. Okay I'm gonna start over because like I do want it oversized But I don't want to run out of yarn and this is excessively oversized at the moment So I think I'll take two off of every Square so ten less would be one two three would be this much shorter Which isn't a huge difference, but it'll make a difference in the long run time wise as well, which is nice. Alrighty, found another whole skein of black. We love it. I am doing double crochet. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook and each square is 13 stitches by nine rows. Now I've got to my one, two, three, four, five, fifth <laughs> row here. So I'm gonna, oh, it's in black. You won't be able to see it that well. But I'm starting the armhole already because right, we're doing it cropped. We're still reserving our black yarn as much as possible, even though we found some. Could save us for some other projects. So what I have done is I, no, this side. What? Okay, I was on this side. Uh -huh. So whenever I got to this row here, on the end here, all I did was I slip stitched in four and then decreased for my first two stitches there and then I'm when I come back here I'm not gonna stitch into my decrease it's gonna be a part of the like upwards thing you know so I'm gonna start from here if that makes sense because our armhole is gonna be a bit angled and then when I got to this end since it's a bit annoying and I didn't want to have to fasten off and then redo it you know so I did a ignore this because I started the next row already but I made sure that there was four left on the end so the last two stitches before that I decreased but I decreased instead of with double crochet because I wanted to go down on this angle I decreased with a half double crochet and then a single crochet together and then since that was still too much like apart from this I slip stitched down here which means I had to slip stitch back up here and then I made sure to slip stitch into the one after the decrease stitch because we're not using the decrease stitch as I said I'm stuck <laughs> And then for this next row, I turned, did my chain and did a decrease. And now it's gonna be the same on the other side. I'll do a decrease on this side as well. I will probably do a decrease the next row as well. And then that should be 
das Spiel. Alrighty, so I finished my second row of checks and I did end up decreasing twice after this initial thing here. Like I said, anywho, now I'm in the middle of this middle square, but the only issue is I have 13 stitches across, which I didn't really think about. So what I did was I did one, two, three, four, five. The last two is a decrease. And then, so I'll do the same on the other side. The only thing is I have to share this last stitch for the decrease, which means it's gonna be a very sharp V because my only other option is to skip a stitch in the middle and then it'll have like a little squared off part here, which I don't want. Or I guess another option is to have a slightly offset V neck, but I also don't want that. So now I'm just gonna work back back and forth like this, and I'm going to just decrease every row, I think. All right, here is where we're at. We're going, it's going well. Where am I? I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like I haven't crocheted clothes in a while, though I'm sure it hasn't been that long. It's been like a week, <laughs> probably like five days, <laughs> not even three days. My goodness. Oh, but before that it was end mix. So yeah, I haven't really been crocheting much clothes. I love crocheting clothes. Clothes are the funnest. So I think like this is possible. Actually, no, I really want the it to be like oversized. So I'm thinking it'll sit like here. So I'm going to do half another row of squares and see what that looks like. And if not, I'll do the full extra square, but I think this might be good. So I went almost a full square. This is seven rows and the square is nine, but I think that's the length that I want it. I want it not in my armpit because that's never nice. And now I'm gonna fasten on and then finish off this other side as well. I finished the front panel and I'm even weaving in the ends right now. Oh, here's the front. No, that's the back. No, what? Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> I am doing so freaking well with this weaving in thing, guys. Like, I can't believe it. All of my goals this year, I'm following. I don't think there's a single one that I've been missing. I need to go back and watch my goals video. I'll figure it out, but I think maybe I shouldn't go back and watch it because that'll just make me feel bad when I feel really good about it right now. Only I still haven't, hello, woven in the ends of this yet. Um, ha <laughs> ha one day but literally every single other project i think i've i've woven in the ends like right away it's so nice there's no burden bearing down on the back of my mind being like oh ends so many ends so I'm doing a giveaway of the, the TXT blanket and I think I've woven in all of five ends of that. So, ah ha ha ha. I should be weaving in a little at a time, but I have no motivation to do that right now. So I think I'm just going to wait until I'm very pressured to actually ship it out, <laughs> which like I'm literally doing the draw on Sunday, which is in two days. <laughs> Someone, cause you just have to like comment on one of my posts. Someone commented that they don't mind weaving in the ends if they win. And I was like, would that be really bad of me to just not weave in the ends and be like, yeah, free stuff, but like you have to do work. Ain't nothing in this world for free. I couldn't do that. My anxiety could never, my people pleasing. <sighs> So I finished the back, it's just all pink. Originally, I thought I would want to do the checks, but I think it'll look better this way. And that's the way Jungwon's vest is anyway. Anywho, I did it exactly the same as the front, only without the V-neck, obviously. And then when I got to the very last row, I just did to the amount that is, you know, the shoulder of, of the front so that these can go together. And then I slip stitched here, fastened off, and did that on both sides. Only I found out when counting these to know how many stitches to do this, that one of these is two stitches more than the other because I accidentally increased on this side and then I forgot to decrease once here. So this is two stitches more than this. So I'm just gonna redo this whole part, I guess. Fun times. I thought I was gonna finish this yesterday, but it's, nope. <laughs> All right, it is all sewn together. This pink is actually very soft, it's nice. And I'm just gonna try it on. I still need to do like the finishing touches, the, I, I don't know what you call it. Cause it's not gonna be ribbing, so I don't wanna do ribbing, but you know. And I was gonna say that I have like so much extra time now because I decided that I'm gonna watch the TXT fan live, which I thought cost money. Okay, I missed yesterday's cause I've been moping.
hoping like for the past freaking month because I'm like, eh, I can't afford the, can't afford to buy the fan lamp because I thought it was like $70 like the usual fan. Do we like this? I think this will be perfect once I put like the trim stuff around it. Oh my gosh, it's a perfect. <laughs> I was originally thinking like not putting anything on the bottom and then just doing like the neckline and around the arms. So I'll do that first and then I'll see how it is. But anyway, I realized that the fat line is free. And I seen, I only seen this because of TikTok and I was on TikTok for like one second. I'm so freaking lucky. I seen Cutie Kai singing Skater Boy with blue freaking hair. And I realized it was the fan live and I honestly almost cried. But then I was reading through the comments and someone said that it's on Weavers. And I was like, it's on Weavers. So I checked and it's freaking free. I'm not that upset about missing day one because like I have to stay up late. <laughs> And I'm working a lot and I'm tired, so that probably wouldn't be smart. But I am doing today. It starts at 12 a.m. my time. And I was gonna stay up until then, so I was like, oh, I'll have plenty of time to work on this. But I am super tired and it's my like usual bedtime right now. It's only eight o'clock. But like I go to bed at eight and then I like edit and then plan to read, but never actually end up reading and probably just like go on Pinterest or something. And then I go to sleep at 10. So I think I'll just do my normal. That sounds very strict. I just, that's how I, I just routine. <laughs> so I think I'll just do my normal routine and then set an alarm for 12. Uh... This is how much black I have left. Super happy about that. This feels like it didn't eat up any yarn. Though to be fair, this is all the pink I have left and I had a lot of pink. So my infinite pink storage is finally running out. <sighs> I wanted to be able to put this video up on Tuesday because that's like my next upload day, but it is Saturday night. <laughs> And I have two more pieces to make. I'm not even done the first one, and this is the easiest. Just FYI. By far, really, the third one's gonna be crazy. I might give up on it. I might give up on it. I'm finally... <laughs> I haven't been working on this as much. I didn't get to work on it yesterday because I did the live giveaway after work, and then... I'm probably not gonna get to work on it tomorrow because it's my birthday and I work. <laughs> Today, I could have worked on it all day if I wanted to, but I don't know where the day went. It is almost six o'clock. I just finished doing one uh, arm hole thingamajigger. It is in single crochet, three rows. I'm just gonna try it on now to see if it's good or if I want to add more. I'm also super, <laughs> I was excited to do this video, but now that it's taking a long time, I'm scared because I didn't realize like TXT just dropped a new album. And so I'm excited about making stuff for that. And then I am excited to make more of Sakura's stuff that she's crocheted. Okay, I think that that's, that's enough because this is already like oversized. It's already going over my shoulder. So I'm gonna stick with the three rows. I'm gonna do it on this side. And then I don't know, I'll probably do more than three rows on the inside. We'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure how to do the V part without it getting all wonky in here, but we'll see. There's just so much to make and so little time. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Like the way that things are just working out for me lately, like am I just this good that I know exactly what to do without actually knowing what to do at the risk of sounding humble? <laughs> like what the heck? This is exactly what I wanted and it just, it just happened. So I attached onto this stitch here, which is the same stitch that like both of these sides were attached to. And then I just started working around here. The first round I just worked around like normal. And then once I got back here, I slip stitched back into this stitch so it looked the same as the other side. And then I chained one just to get back up and then went around it again. For the second round and every round thereafter, I decreased at the shoulder just so that you know otherwise it would like, like sit up same at this side decrease and then come back around and then there on after for each other row I will decrease at the end and beginning of this just so that this part stays straight and then these two pieces here I'm just gonna sew together I didn't expect that to work <laughs> my first try like I'm amazed and super happy I'm not really sure if it's as thick as I want it to be so I'm gonna try it on now to see I have done five rows for this the neck and we shall see if that is enough. I love it when it's not on and then when I put it on, I don't like it. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I would say that's enough. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the bottom. I think I like how it just looks, how it looks. <laughs> so I guess I'll fasten off and sew this together and then I'm done. First one. And here it is all finished. I don't know. I feel like it would look better if the this 
part, like the finishing pieces. I should learn the terms for everything because oh my goodness, it's hard to talk about things. But like if they stood out more, were more different, I guess that's why ribbing would have been nice, but I didn't want to do ribbing. I think it's cute. Good job. Me. <laughs> I have gathered together all the yarn that I think I'm going to use for Hisung's sweater. You guys have been waiting for the orange blood stuffs. Only I'm not making the sweater, I'm making a vest. And as I said earlier, I have to make it my own, okay? I have to have enough changes where it's not me just copying. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult because I really just want to recreate it, like, so bad. And I don't know if I'll be able to make enough changes. Like, I need to find a balance where it looks nice, but it's... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> also, I'm disappointed in my orange selection because this is all I have to work with. And it's literally for orange blood. So, I mean, this is like mustard. Okay, it looks a bit more orange in real life, but still. And then this is more red. This orange, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like highlighter, like freaking safety vest orange. But I might go for this one because the other colors are bright too. Like this green is like, ugh, and so is this blue. So I guess it makes sense. Here's where we're at with the second vest. It is 9.23. I'm usually in bed by 8, <laughs> sleeping by 10. Haven't even got my pajam jams on yet. So I'm not having a great time. It's not. It's not fun. Nope. <laughs> and like honestly look at all this I don't even like it so I tried to make it obviously completely different from the sweater not completely I wanted it to be like noticeable that it is the sweater but diff you know and then so I tried to make it more in hyphen themed so I have Polaroid love <laughs> I have an orange. I'm gonna make some orange flowers for orange flower. There's orange flowers on the original too. I made this uh, triangle thing is now an X for like paradox. <laughs> this is gonna be a sun because of their, oh, I forget it. What is it? Some summer, uh, ah, I don't remember. I literally watched every single music video today to see if I could get any more ideas. And I think the only other ideas that I got was this. This is a moon. Cause I talk a lot about like red moon, red blood, red eyes. Here's some blood. And then I have these waves represent water. There's a lot of like beach scenes in their stuff. And then this, is on the sleeve of the shirt and I just changed the number to 30 because their debut date is the 30th of November. And then I made this little hyphen. And now I have a bajillion things to sew together and I'm not looking forward to it, especially because I don't think this is gonna look good. And then I'm not even, I have to do the ribbing and stuff as well. And I really thought for some reason, as I always do, I always think I'm gonna be way faster than I am. I thought I would be able to finish this today so that I could finish the other one tomorrow. And then I could start all my other bajillion videos that I have that I want to be making. I regret picking this. <laughs> But literally everyone wanted me to make this. I guess if I just remade it completely, it would have been easier, but trying not to do that anymore. And plus this isn't even an entire sweater. So imagine if I was doing the sleeves too. Ugh, I don't know. But I need, I need to go to sleep now, but like all of this is laying here. And if I move it over, I have to rearrange it all again tomorrow in order to sew it. But I think I'll go crazy if I try to sew it now. So I guess I will just have to do that. Maybe I'll just take a picture of it so I can know what's going on. Ah! Tis the next day again. I sewed everything together, but I haven't made the flowers yet, so I'll have to sew those on as well. This is the front. This is the back. Again, I don't think it looks very nice. I don't know. And I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. <gasps> we will see. This feels a lot smaller than the front. <laughs> anyway, I'll sew these together now and then do the... I think I'm gonna do ribbing on the bottom and the neck and armholes in the end. And then, and then, and then. Oh, I didn't shape these armholes. Well, it's whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm so done. It is literally almost 12 p.m. So I'll be lucky if I even finish this today, let alone the other thing. I did some, what is it, surface crochet for the little sun image grease. A summer! Na, na, na. That's the one that I was trying to think of last night. Ugh, I'm so done. I've been sewing this together since 7.30 this morning. So that is, this took me four hours to sew together. And I was like trying to go fast too. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Okay, I am finally done. <laughs> I'm relieved, but at the same time, it looks so bad that like, I don't even, I don't know. Plus it's gonna be too small. I am proud of how much research I did though. Actually, just to count as research, I was just watching the music videos as I was making it, but <laughs> it's so stupid. <sighs> yeah. Uh, and I'm not gonna be weaving the ends in anytime soon. I don't even think it's worth it because I feel like, I don't know if I hate it because it's, it's bad or if I hate it because I forgot it. And like making it, this took, see it's not, it's supposed to be loose. I didn't even measure it when I first started making it. And then I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna stick with what I have. And then this, did I say it took like 17 hours? 17. <laughs> Can we see the back? Does it look stupid? I can't see it. I would need to like freaking steam this or something because it's obviously anything that's patchwork is gonna be very weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some treats to treat myself for being finished this and then I will start the next one. It is 2.38 so I'll probably start the next one at 3. <sighs> I want it to be finished today but as long as I'm finished by tomorrow I'll be able to get this video up on Saturday. <laughs> You know what? I didn't really like the original sweater, but now looking at my sweater, it looks pretty good. The original one, comparatively. Oh, it's whatever. Had a little break, a little snack, and now it's time for the final parts of, or probably the, pro hopefully the most beautiful thing I've ever made so far, but we'll see. But hopefully just at least top five. Helping us today is my new friend. <laughs> Manica. I was gonna call her Manny, but that was too obvious. It was my birthday a couple days ago and my mom sent me this mannequin <laughs> to help me and it's actually really gonna help me with this next one. I dressed her up. Also, Geraldine got me a balloon. Oh, I can't see it. So cute. Oh, and while I'm showing off. <laughs> And this is super cute too. But anyway, basically right now I'm just gonna make a bunch of flowers. <sighs> I have to be done making all the flowers by the end of the day because I work tomorrow and I feel like I won't, I'll maybe just have enough time after work to put it together. Also, I'm watching N O'Clock as per the theme of this video. Can't say whether I like it or not. It's been it's five minutes into an episode and I accidentally clicked a part two of an episode. So I don't know what's going on. So I finished my first flower. Isn't it pretty? I'm just going to follow YouTube tutorials. I'll link all the ones that I use down below for a bunch of flowers until I feel comfortable like doing whatever, making my own stuff. And then I shall do that. And I'm just going to, sorry, Manica, I'm going to undress you. Her name's Manica, like, Monica, but with a, what is that, Boston accent? Manica. Ugh. I'm just gonna stab these into her and then that makes it easier to know where I'm at. Number one, down 552 more to go. Actually, I have no idea. Let's hope not, my goodness. I don't remember when I started this, but <laughs> it's been going nonstop. It is eight o'clock and this is where I'm at. There's nothing on the back, don't be fooled. This is it. I am so, what do, what? <laughs> I need to go take a shower now, but then it's like bedtime. So I'm not really sure what to do. <sighs> Maybe I'll just like make it super cropped. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just that all of these are pretty intricate. Like look at this one. This one's my favorite. It's so pretty. It's one of the tutorials that I followed and the tutorial has it all in different, like like each layer is a different color, which makes it even prettier, but oh my goodness. But yeah, and it's all with weight. I don't even know what weight this yarn is. Is, I don't know, what is this, two? Wait, two yard. Ah, and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook, so. <sighs> okay, so I'll show you what I finished last night. This is where we're at, and I have one thing on the back here. Beautiful. As for these, like, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Before a chain and then slip stitch it together, single crochet around that, then like, skip stitch and like, do all this random stuff. As for the flowers, this, 
flower is gonna be the first tutorial that I link. And this is my favorite flower. That'll be my second tutorial that I link. And then everything else is kind of just modifications or things that I made up myself. Like this is this flower, but instead of doing the next round like bigger, so it sits out, I did it smaller. And I don't know, I'm just kind of winging all of this. I didn't experiment too much just because I was in a hurry trying to finish it by today. And like, it would be nice if I could, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And the reason why I was trying so hard, obviously I really want to get to my next videos that I want to film because I really want to make this stuff, but I was really wanting to do two videos a week for at least the rest of this month so I could get caught up on like money. <laughs> but I just woke up to a bajillion dollars in my account this morning from acting. I still don't know what it is uh, for, but it must just be a renewal of one of my like commercial contracts. <sighs> Like honestly, the relief. I've been so happy, which is awesome because I've been so not happy. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell in this video I was a little stressed out and I'm not having fun, but now I can have fun. I mean, I still wanted it to go up this weekend, but it is what it is. Also, I did realize that I forgot to do the flowers for this, but I don't think I'm going to do them because I don't like this. I don't think it's worth it. It didn't turn out very nice, but I did did also forget to say that I like anything that I did for this. So I did a bunch of different stitches, just trying those out. Uh, I'll link the tutorials for them below. Most of them I already knew how to do like the granny stitch, the regular double crochets, the I don't know what else. I didn't really use too many. And then for the ribbing, it's just a single crochet ribbing. And for the neck, I made sure to slip stitch in quite a bit just so that it wouldn't like pop out a lot at the top. And I think I did a pretty good job of it. But yeah, it's so wonky that it's like, there's no, I just don't know. I like the back better than the front. And I also realized that I don't know why I associate this album with oranges so much because it's not actually oranges, it's orange blood. But then like blood orange, I don't know. It just like went in my head that it's orange, but it's orange flowers and I didn't even put the flowers on. This was a fail, that is okay. Oh, I'm so tired. I just got off of work. I'm gonna see if I can finish all the flowers that I need to fill up my little buddy, but I doubt it because how long did this take me then? Hours? I stayed up till 10.30 making these and then I still had to edit. So I went to sleep probably after 11. But this makes me feel so cool. It makes me feel like a seamstress professional. I might make it like cropped because it's obviously gonna take a long time to sew this stuff together. And obviously you could do this just laying it out. And if you want it to stay to something, you could even like buy those foam boards and pin it to that. I bought these boards for blocking. I don't block things though, so you could do that. You could stab it into your couch. I really like this though because if I didn't have this, I would be making it on my bed and then every night I would have to move all this stuff and then I'd have to rearrange it every day. So this is super nice. Plus, originally before I realized how long it was gonna take, I should have, first of all, I should have done these two as separate individual videos just because they took so freaking long and have so much involved. Though I'm glad I didn't do this as its own video because it would have been a complete fail. Now I've lost my train of thought. Oh, I was going to, instead of doing the like, you know, like, not tank top. I don't know the words for things. I need to learn this stuff if I'm gonna be a fashion designer. I was gonna do like capped sleeves and like up around the neck because I really love those kinds of things, but that would be more work. But this would have made it possible because I didn't know how to do the shape of it, but if it, all it takes is pinning it to this person, I thought this would scare me more than it does, but I haven't got scared by it yet. It's very interesting. Anyway, it's time to make a bajillion flowers. Oh, also I've used a 3.5 millimeter hook as well as a 2.5 millimeter hook for some of these flowers just depending on the vibe that I'm going for and how big I want it to be also also I am very confused <laughs> I've been watching in hyper videos and I'm learning so much about the group okay but when I was watching all the music videos Jay's literally the only one talking in the concept concept trailer like they just like his accent or what and then I was watching Eric Nam and Jay and Jake on there and I I was so confused when an American accent did not come out of Jake's voice. I don't know what made me think he was like, I don't even know how I knew he was American because I don't know anything about the group, but I 
I knew he was American. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm still shocked. And I guess that makes sense now why Jay was the only person talking. And then I'm assuming Nikki, is Nikki Japanese? I think I heard that somewhere. So I'm assuming that was him talking in the later concept trailers. But like, what about the rest of the group? I didn't watch any more N, N O'Clock though, because that one that I watched, I don't freaking know who edited it. And I really hope that's not the editors for all of them or I'm never gonna watch any of them. <laughs> Because it was literally anything that would happen, not even something that's exciting, they would play it over and over again, different angles, five times over and over again. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, at the end, they like escaped from whatever they were playing, like an escape game, and they like run out like, woo. And then it replays them running out five different times from different angles. And just when you think it's gonna stop, they have a freaking bird's eye view of it as well. Like, I, I don't think that's necessary. I was getting so annoyed because they did that so many times throughout the episode. Were they just trying to make it longer? Or maybe the editors are like such obsessed fans that they're like, everyone needs to see this from every single angle. Gonna get our money's worth out of the camera angles. I don't freaking know. Also, I thought that their like vampire concept thing was new or their bite me era, but apparently that was always a thing. I learned so much. I feel like I can almost call myself an engine soon. I think I know all the members names. And I do listen to their music. This was a long ramble and now I'm gonna have to edit more when I wanted to make this video. What, what am I doing? It is 10 p.m. <laughs> once again. This is the back. I've basically done the front, but I haven't done this side yet. Ugh. Ugh. This side is sort of done. I, ah! I literally spent my first entire hour making, where is it? I think it's, no. Which one? I don't, I don't freaking know, but it took forever. Now I've lost it, so it's kind of, oh, this one, this, hello. This took me an hour and it didn't even turn out the way I wanted it. I was just experimenting and then I was like, hey, back to not experimenting because that took a freaking hour. So I still have a long ways to go. I'm honestly not going to make it longer than this. It's going to be extremely cropped. Okay, it's gonna be like an over, it's gonna, it's, this is it. So I think if I do that, then I'm probably, hopefully will be able to finish this part tomorrow and then probably sew it together on Sunday. Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh my goodness. So this video is not going up tomorrow and it's past my bedtime. So good night. <laughs> Tis the next day again. I did not finish it again. I wanted to keep adding to it, but I ended up calling it. This is where we're going for now. I can always add stuff later, but this is, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I started sewing it together. I've sewed most of the top part together. It's also taking a very long time, obviously, but it's going relatively well so far. I feel like I will finish it tonight. If my nephew does not ask me to play Fortnite, because I will not say no, I do not want to to do this. <laughs> uh, I'm done! It's the next day again, but I'm done! Finally! This has been so long! This entire video has been so long! I'm kind of scared to take it off because I feel like it'll be kind of wonky, but it must be done. It is all sewn together. It is kind of stretched in places, which sucks, but you know, the one that Jungwon wore was more, okay, I need to take all these pins out first. This is impossible. The one that Jungwon wore was with thicker yarn and I should have used thicker yarn because obviously it would have went faster because I would have had less freaking flowers to make or maybe it would have been a full thing if, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is getting more and more wobbly and I don't know, I don't know. Also, like all week I've had Billy Billy Poco, Billy Poco, <laughs> or whatever the freak stuck in my head. New favorite and hype and song. But honestly, I don't understand because their songs are so freaking like, or their concepts are all dark and like spooky and like, ooh, vampire, bite me. And then all of a sudden they do all these collabs that are like, baby shark, do, 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 do. Like, what is, what's that about? I'll show you the back while it's on here. I think I like the back more just in case it gets all messed up when I take it off. We'll see. I thought I would like using this more than like sewing it together off of it because I thought it wouldn't hurt as much like my neck and back but it hurt more because I'm like leaned over it the entire time. Oh, I'm just so glad to be done. And this is like reminding me of acupuncture and I'm just like, I need that. I wanted to do chains and stuff in between and like maybe someday. But if I do that, then that means just like more things to weave in. So I just used the pieces that were already on it. So I don't have too much left to weave in and I'm not going to. Just because I feel so behind. 
The front has like nothing to me. Oh, it's so pretty! What fell? <laughs> Gonna be stepping on needles all week. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so lacy. It's so pretty. Wow, I thought it was gonna look bad. No freaking way. I love it. Oh my gosh. I don't know which way is which. I feel like it's reversible. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna put it on. Again, I can definitely add more to it at some point if I so choose to. The, the freaking pink checkered one looked better on the mannequin, so <laughs> this one probably will too. Oh, I can't adjust. Okay, I'm wearing this is the back. I guess it's reversible. <laughs> now let's flip it around. <laughs> Imagine I just break it all, my goodness. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> okay, so this is the front. This is the back. Is it? I don't know, I can't tell. And everything's stretched out weirdly because everything's pulling on everything, which would make the chains make sense. But we'll do that some other time. And I'm pretty sure like on the original, there's like little viney things going through. It's been a while since I've looked at the picture. It's been a while since I started this. It's been a while since, ah, I'm just so done. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> finally. <laughs>